On this adventure, we went dumpster diving. And I thought we hit a jackpot. But in reality, when I got everything home, I realized that they had slashed everything in my jackpot. I also did some curb picking and we donated some previous finds to the local pantries. Hey fellow trash pandas, Jen here. If this is the first time we're meeting, welcome. I hope you'll come along with me on my adventures. As a trash panda, I enjoy finding things that other people no longer want and giving them a second life. Sometimes that looks like dumpster diving and curb picking. Other times that's gonna look like yard sales and estate sales and go into the thrift store like the Goodwill bins. And occasionally it looks like buying storage units and sifting through all the trash to find the treasures. I am a reseller and sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. So sometimes the stuff that I find winds up there. Other times it goes to a yard sale here at my house. And if I find excess of stuff, it goes to local pantries or a local church to help out. It's been a bit slow on dumpster diving finds lately. That's the reality. It's not always huge hauls, but every bit saved helps. It helps either my family or someone else's family and it doesn't go to the landfill and that's good enough for me. So come with me today while I do some curb picking and then see what I found at the Dollar General that I thought was an amazing find. And at the end we're going to be donating some of our previous finds to the local pantries so I hope you'll stick around for that as well. Let's go. Okay we got a couple little things here. Those are cute. Yeah, I'm gonna take those. Those are cute. Okay, we got like an old mirror that doesn't have the glass or picture frame, but the frame itself is really pretty. So I think I'm gonna take that for some crafty thing. So there's like all these bags here and I already opened one. I found this pair of rain boots and another reusable bag. So I'm gonna dig through some more and see if I can find anything else. Found another pile of stuff. Pulled out a little journal and a sketchbook and these pair of Nike shoes. I hate that all this got wet all soaked. All these books are soaked. Jeez. Maybe there's something down in here. Oh, it's a bunch of like homeschool stuff. I don't have a need for that. Random magazines. Those could be cool. Are they modern? I might take those. And it's just paper. that see what all's in there all right so this is what was in the mystery bag that I picked up off the curb the other day some of the stuff in there I had to throw away there was a wig that was in really bad shape and a bunch of other like opened stuff that was just a mess but we were able to save a few things we got like a little butterfly headband one for a witch hat we have a whole cat costume there with the bow tie, the tail, and the ears. We've got two sets of Mardi Gras beads that have like alligator heads on them. And then one set that has the Vikings symbol on the bottom of it. We have this beautiful little fan. 
all of these puff paints back here. Um, this zombie makeup kit that's never been used. Vampire blood that's never been used. This little Home of the Brave button. And then some patriotic necklaces. And then these two little pairs of glasses. Okay, let's see if there's anything of use in here. That's not completely soaked. Oh, he's not gonna work because it's been in the rain. This basket's kind of cute. Oh, it's it's broken. Oh, if it hadn't been raining. Alright, so we went out the day after Valentine's, and we didn't have a lot of luck, but we did have luck at $1 General, and so I got some lovely Valentine's flowers, so you can see them there. Um, the plastic is kind of gnarly on them, but the flowers are still very pretty. I have to put them in a vase still, but there are seven bouquets, and then down here... Um, we got uh, a Mick Ultra and a Mick Ultra Organic Seltzer, a Pepsi, and one of these Hershey Kisses. Um, so the Pepsi and the Hershey's Kiss, uh, my son will get. And then the Mick Ultras will go to some friends because we don't really drink that. So, um, But that wasn't all that was in this dumpster. So this is the rest of what we found in that dumpster. There was a gigantic black bag full of women's shoes. I think they're all women's shoes. I haven't uh, gone through each and every one of them yet. But they're the Bobby Brooks brand and they're brand new. Most of them are still wrapped in plastic. And so I'm going to count them and see how many we have. Okay guys, they got me. I'm so mad right now. There are 19 pairs of shoes, but when I started laying them all out, what I realized is that they took the time to cut every single shoe. Both of them. So I can't even like mix and match shoes. They cut every single one. An employee sat there and took the time to destroy all of these shoes that could have gone to help somebody. I'm so mad right now. So mad. All right, so we're at that one that was very bare the last time that was very messy and it has at least been picked up this time. Um, there were only these three cans and like a couple little like gravy mixes in here. So we were able to put all of those chips and marshmallows and the sandwich cookies in there. Um, this one's nearby, nearby a school, so it'll be great for the school kids to get and snack on. All right, so here's my closest little pantry and we're gonna go ahead and put the coffee in here and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, so there's all the coffee in there. All right, we got a bunch of books, kids books here. So I'm gonna take them and there's a couple of little libraries nearby me. So I'm gonna take these and go put them in there on another day. Mm -hmm. 